got him, son. Oh, boy, oh, boy. I made him jump, so don't... I gotta loosen up the drag. No, the drag is loose. I just made him jump. Is that a rat No, that was a keeper speckled trout. Oh, I just got tagged again. I'm gonna spot lock this one. Oh, son, I, we're getting hit. That I just got hit. Yeah. Yeah. Down that way towards the, uh, behind that tree on our side. Like, see? And then on the way back, something just hit it. Got him. Got him, son. I got it. Yeah, you go ahead. It looks like a keeper? No, maybe 14 inches, something like that. There we go, y'all. Hold on, player. Little Billy. And he... that looks like a keeper to me. I don't have a measure. I have the little cardboard one in the uh, that pack. Okay. What are you swimming? Skelly swim? Right there. They may be. I don't know, but this little... Oh, he's a keeper for sure. A nice school of speckled trout. That He's got a gimped up tail. See his tail is all gimped up. Look at that, y'all. Yeah. Beautiful speckled trout. We're going to put the first fella right back inside the water. He's got that gimped tail. <sighs> Alright, so before... Before we go any further, I think it's time to let y'all know that today's video is sponsored by Catchco. We're gonna be using nothing but Catchco branded lures from 10,000 Fish and also uh, Salt Native, the Skelly Swim, which is what we currently uh, have tied on and what we caught that speckled trout with. But we got an assortment of lures from Catchco. You can view these things by going to the Shop Carl's website. That's going to be linked in the video description down below. Help support the sponsor who supports me. And uh, just go down there, check out what we're using. I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised to see. Christian just got one. Here, son. Oh, you got him? So, yes. Um, Go to the Shop Carl's website, check out everything that they have to offer. And if you do become a member and make a lot of purchases throughout the year, it's gonna be worth your while by being able to save up to 30% off on lures, tackles, gear, just tackles, that doesn't make sense. But yeah, uh, thank you Catch Co for sponsoring today's video. I really appreciate it. Let's get back to the action. Okay, y'all, we're gonna put the rusty penny or rusted penny away, skelly swim. We're gonna throw on a spiked root beer one. All right, let's try to do this as quickly as we possibly can because we have zero GoPro batteries to fall on. And that's, that's kind of a bummer because I was filming a video for the second channel and not thinking about it, I left all my batteries and that's just, that's a really bad bummer. So here we go right there that's the owner twist lock hook four odd three sixteenth ounce fairly heavy it's gonna mate up perfectly with that skelly swim we just want something that's a little bit darker in color because they'll be able to pick that profile out inside this murky water we'll get that guy tied on and then back to fishing we got the spiked root beer with that owner four odd three sixteenth ounce swim hook looks pretty good it should be the season to start slinging these things and that's why i made sure to stock up on them well in advance because the minute that these guys start producing some of them big old donkeys i don't i don't want to get caught outside in the wind without uh, being able to fish them and uh, I don't want to run out of them, so we are stocked up suitably for the next, I want to say maybe two months. <sighs> Let's see if we can get it done with these guys. I thought this was going to be a keeper trout, like once once he hit. Oh, uh, yeah, seriously, thought he was. That's why I've always insisted on the Leary Man rule. Right there, y'all. His spot locked really fast. Working on a, uh, a nice little nursery slam with uh, this 
redfish. All we got to do is get a speckled trout and we will have got it. But that right there on the skelly, gorgeous blue tail. I'm going to let this fella go. Let's take the camera. All right, here we go. Not the graceful release, but it's, it's good to catch these guys and it feels really good whenever you know you've been skunked the past few trips to uh, come back to something. That's me. Oh, I thought that was my camera. It feels good to come back to something that you know and the fish are going to greet you with open arms. The spiked root beer. Did I hit? Keeper, you think? It looks like it might be a keeper. It's a red. He's real dang close. I got the board, so the cardboard. No, probably not. You can check. Oh my gosh. It's been a. Uh... Wasn't even recording. All right, guys. Uh... Yeah, I just caught a red and I released it. I thought I was recording and I wasn't. I don't know how that happened, but we're still looking for a keeper red. And if you're wondering why I'm filming at this angle and not the action hat, it's because I left my batteries at home. It has just been a crazy start to finish, end of the day. Well, I honestly, I can't even talk because there's just so much going on and I'm trying to keep my composure to still be able to put this video to market so that y'all can see, but it's been, tough. it's been tough. Everything's going against us and we're still trying to make it happen. Looking for that first keeper red. Okay, that is gonna do it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank y'all so much for tagging along on our adventure today. We gotta put this girl to bed. I wanna thank each and every one of y'all for tagging along. I uh, sincerely appreciate that type of love and support. Don't forget to check out the Shop Carl's website for the Catch Co brands that we used, which was Salt Native, that Skelly Swim is on fire. And I know it's only a matter of time before we like literally start hooking them donkeys. So uh, be sure to click on that link, go down there and check it out. If you're gonna make those purchases and you're like me, you purchase a lot of lures online, then consider becoming a member so that you can save up to 30% off. All right, I'm gonna put this girl to bed and uh, thanks for watching. Until next time, tight lines.